Never made it as a wise man I couldn't cut it as a poor man stealing Tired of living like a blind man I'm sick of sight without a sense of feeling And this is how you remind me This is how you remind me Uh, hi, uh, welcome back. Um, since it was such a nice, uh, I guess, night now, outside, uh, I decided to um, come outside and make a, my next video. Alright, uh, I'm going to talk about methods of learning, usually behaviors. Um, this is either, this is basically a response and uh, a response to a stimulus of some kind. Um, starting with punishment, this is obviously a negative stimulus for you, the uh, receiver. <laughs> uh, basically, unwanted events that decrease the frequency of the behavior. Uh, being removed from a sports team due to poor grades. Um, you're basically getting something taken away from you, and or you're being spanked or something yeah punishment most kids are familiar with this there it's a common thing with parents to get their kids to behave and I apologize for any wind you might hear by the way uh, positive reinforcement this is like being uh, given a lollipop for behaving at the doctor's office um, or f or even better um, being praised on good work at school, say your teacher gives you a good review, critique, whatever, you know, what have you. This is what that basically is. Uh, increasing the frequency of the behavior. Yeah, basically, good behavior. You're going to get praised or rewarded something. Um, with positive reinforcement, there's got to be negative reinforcement. Uh, this is like getting yelled at or, say, um, your shoplift. You get arrested or something like that. That's um, negative reinforcement and punishment. Combination of the two. Um, don't really get negative reinforcement confused with punishment. Punishment and negative reinforcement are different. Punishment is usually more severe, and a lot of the time it's more brutal. Uh, negative reinforcement is like your parents yelling at you, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, next time or pff, excuse me uh, wow I'm out of it um, next comes shaping this is like uh, learning to ride a bike you start with your uh, training wheels and then you move eventually move on to two wheels um, basically it's a way of teaching complex behaviors in which one first reinforces small steps in the right direction so you start them uh, how would I describe this in a military term um, this is teaching a recruit, a raw recruit, how to shoot right or zero their weapon. You have them start, and then as you're start going through it, you have them correct the smaller mistakes. I'll try to shield this from the wind. Um, next is flooding. This is useful for, uh, actually, it's a really brutal way of curing someone of a phobia. Um, I'll use fear of snakes as an example. Say someone is afraid of snakes, right? You take them, you put them in a pit, kind of like Fear Factor, uh, that plastic box. You put them in there, and then you cover them with snakes after tying them down. And, ba and basically, you set them there until they are no longer afraid of them. No longer screaming, no longer yelling, period. You just leave them there. Um, a person is sub exposed to a harmless stimulus until fear responses stop. That's basically it. Simple as that. Um, generalization is next. Uh, responding to the same ways, in the same ways, to stimulus that seem to be similar, even if they are not. This is like being. This is like refusing to eat ice cream or any flavor after one flavor made you sick. Um, my psychology teacher had this. Uh, she, well, she had something similar. I'm shooting a shotgun. Sorry. <laughs> uh, that would be the uh, ADHD that I don't know if I have or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Um, say uh, you ate strawberry ice cream 
and it made you sick, or you uh, had stomach flu or something like that, and you got sick and you threw up and all that stuff, all that jolly good stuff, and then you refused to eat ice cream after that. That's uh, generalization. Extinction comes next, and that is the conditioned stimulus is disconnected from the unconditioned stimulus. Dog stops salivating after hearing bell and not getting food. The state, the uh, I think it was the last video or the video before that I talked about the sci the th psychologist who did the experiment with the dog and the meat powder and the bell, making the dog's uh, saliva glands produce saliva when upon hearing the bell. After with after hearing the bell, they would put meat powder on the dog's tongue. The dog would obviously start salivating and then. Um, yeah, uh, and then after a while they start bringing out the meat powder, but the dogs keep sal kept salivating uh, even when they rang the bell. So yeah, that's that. Um, basically, it stops. That reaction stops, and it after a while of not receiving the food when the bell rings, that reaction just stops, and the dog stops salivating when they when it hears the bell. Um, next is operant conditioning learning to do something and learning not to do others studying to get good grades is a great example of this uh... you are learning to not you are learning to work hard and study to get your good grades while avoiding bad grades and learning how to keep from getting them basically um, classical conditioning one stimulus excuse me i gotta read this in tiny print type one stimulus comes forth to cause a response usually caused by another stimulus. Um, thought of food makes your mouth water. As a, thinking of that food, uh, your favorite food, say for me it's spaghetti. Uh, or Italian food in general, which is kind of odd given I'm Greek. Um, anyway, uh, this is like that, basically. Uh, you think, uh, for me, I think of spaghetti. My mouth starts watering. It is watering. Uh, but yeah, that's a very good example of that. Uh, taste aversion. Many people have this, and I mean many people have it. Most people will have at least one, though they might not always know why. Um, taste aversion. A learned avoidance of a particular food. Say you ate, mm, we'll say cottage cheese, since that's always so dis so re-appetizing when it comes up. Um, you eat cottage cheese and then you end up violently hurling your guts up. Are you going to want to eat cottage cheese again? Nah, I don't think so. I wouldn't. But I do. Anyway, uh, y'all are sure lucky I don't usually do that. Um, condition stimulus. Previously neutral stimulus that because of pairing with an unconditioned stimulus now causes a conditioned response. Um, going back to the dog example, this is hearing the bell and cause and the dog's starting to salivate. That's a great example of that. Very true example of that. Uh, anyway, conditioned response. A learned response to a previously neutral stimulus. This is basically mouth watering because you heard a bell. Or the dog heard a bell in this case. Uh, next is an unconditioned response, an automatic response to a stimulus. Uh, this is like the dog getting meat powder stuck on, put on its tongue and the mouth starts watering because of the meat on it. A stimulus. This is just a basic definition of a stimulus. This is anything that produces a reaction. Uh, electric shock, it's going to cause you to jerk, obviously. A physical reaction. Um, and then, of course, lastly comes response. Uh, for a stimulus, you must have a response. And it's, yeah, a reaction to a stimulus. Electric shock, you're going to twitch. Or you're going to convulse, one of the two. Usually when you get an electric shock, all your muscles contract. And that's why when you see someone who gets electrocuted, and that means killed by electric shock, uh, a lot of the time they will still be holding on to what they were killed by whether it be spark plugs or a car battery, anything like that, they're probably going to have a really tight hold on it, and that's why they died, because they could not let go. 
Um, I think that is it. And yes, it is. So uh, those are the basic learning methods. Um, so yeah, uh, I guess that'll call it good. So leave me stuff, and um, I will probably return the favor, and I will probably make a video sometime tomorrow because I will be in Independence, Kansas, visiting my grandmother. So yes, uh, stay tuned for the next video, and keep it going.